As we record this Thursday, Hurricane Dorian is lashing the Carolinas and moving slowly up the eastern coast of the United States. Authorities have ordered people to evacuate the coastal areas and in the Bahamas near total devastation. The Red Cross estimates that at least half the homes on the islands have been destroyed. Relief efforts are very difficult. Communities are cut off. Many of the island airports are underwater or strewn with debris and not usable. Nevertheless, the general aviation community is joining with many others to get help to people devastated by Hurricane Dorian. And that includes Mark Baker and Tom Haynes, along with other AOPA staffers. Now, Tom was originally working on a story in Colorado, but diverted to Florida to help with AOPA's contribution to the relief mobilization effort. He joins us now. And Tom, how can pilots help? Oh uh, yeah, Warren. Boy, as, as we've seen, the the devastation is is terrible in the Bahamas, uh, much worse than even what we saw when we we were flying in 2017 after Irma and the Keys. And so there is a lot that general aviation pilots can do. Mostly in this situation, however, the best thing that pilots can do is to support some of the relief organizations with cash, because they need to buy fuel and there are certain supplies that they need. So Aerobridge and Operation Airdrop and some of the others that you can see on our website are a great way for pilots to help. In general, what we're going to be doing in Florida is to help coordinate communication among some of the federal agencies, both in the Bahamas and uh, the United States, and among the groups uh, themselves that I just mentioned and some of the others. Uh, there's already airplanes assembling on the Florida coast uh, to help move supplies in as, as, the, as the airports in the Bahamas begin to open up. And uh, so it's, it's going to be a massive effort. Uh, it's total destruction on some of the northern islands in the Bahamas. And so it's going to be many, many years before we see recovery down there. So immediately, though, of course, we need uh, supplies to, to help people begin to rebuild their lives and keep them safe. And so that's why uh, general aviation pilots can really help by donating to some of the organizations that are already at work down there and uh, beginning to move supplies already. Well, thanks, Tom. And we just established communication with Mark Baker in Florida and got a quick update from him. The number one thing you can do right now is start donating to some of these groups that are going to be in the area to get these materials done and to make sure that we're working together with as much knowledge as possible. As we learn things, we'll be posting things and updating this several times a day so that we can do this in the best fashion possible. This is a complicated relief effort. There are lots of boats en route. There are lots of airplanes, lots of military traffic. And then we've got two governments at, at work here, both the Bahamian government and the U.S. government. It's going to be a lot of frustration, and I get it. I ask for your patience. We're going to try and work this thing through as best we can, as fast as we can. And now, as Mark just mentioned, we have a lot more information for pilots who are looking to help. Just go to our homepage, aopa.org, and click on the yellow bar at the top. We'll show you where you can donate cash and supplies. Now, for example, Sun and Fun and the Aerospace Center for Excellence are collecting supplies at the Lakeland Linder Regional Airport, just as they did in 2017 in the aftermath of Hurricane Irma. Starting on Friday, supplies can be dropped off and or shipped to Hangar C, and Sun and Fun will get them where they're needed. Now, we also have information on organizations that are coordinating volunteer relief flights. And at this point, let me say it's critical that you do coordinate your flight. As Mark mentioned earlier, there are a lot of moving parts. It's chaotic, and a solo pop-up aircraft can really cause problems. And it's frustrating for you because if you just show up, there won't be anything for you to do. Communication and coordination are vital in these relief efforts. Boy, AOPA has a, a role here of communicating to the general aviation community about the needs and the efforts going on in the relief in the Bahamas and trying to make sure we can be as coordinated as possible with all the great pilots and all the great organizations that want to do great relief effort, but doing it in a coordinated and safe fashion is what our role is.